Cities across the country are planning to introduce smart cards for public transport, similar to the Oyster card used by millions in London every day. But this programme has discovered new concerns about the security of the chip used inside it. A security advisor to Transport for London has told Channel 4 News the Oyster card needs to be replaced. Channel 4's Generation Next season is promoting new talent on TV throughout August. As part of the initiative, journalism postgrad Bill Code has been investigating smart card security. In the last six weeks, the future of the capital's transport ticketing system has been thrown into question and the impact will be felt in cities around the country. In July, Oyster card users were twice faced with chaos. Up to 40,000 people had their cards disabled and wide open gates meant free travel for half a million. Transport for London said they were furious at the contractor Transis and last week said the contract would be terminated. Not, say TfL, because of the failings, but to deliver a cheaper service. But Channel 4 News has uncovered a potentially more explosive controversy right at the heart of the Oyster card. The chip deep inside the card has been hacked, which means the card can be cloned. Security experts tell us that this leaves the whole system exposed to fraud. Transport for London may have just sacked the contractor, but it's told this program that it plans to keep the chip despite the security breach. And it's not just London's popular oyster system. The same technology is used in Northern Ireland. Channel 4 News understands it's also planned in schemes from Bolton and Manchester to Doncaster and Sheffield. In fact, the whole of South Yorkshire may have a similar scheme by 2010. Other cities, including Birmingham, say they're also considering it. This is one of the men that cracked the chip. Peter van Rossum's team from a Dutch university visited London a month ago and say they travelled for free using a cloned card. Peter says the team will publish the code in October. Read out this card, so that's something we should not have been able to do. Uh, then we travelled with this card for a while, um, so depleting the money on the cards. And then later we could restore the original information that was on the card as if it was a new card. And then the next day we could travel with this card again. So how exactly has the security of the Oyster card been undermined? Inside every Oyster card is a chip called the MyFair Classic. It's made by a Dutch firm for a few pence apiece, which keeps the Oyster card affordable. But now its secrets have been exposed. Experts tell us that the chip inside the card is no longer fit for purpose. When you swipe an Oyster card at the gate, a chip inside communicates with the reader. It does so in an encrypted language, so that the information can't be intercepted. Deep inside the card, the microchip contains two sets of data. One contains the money left on the card, the other is an electronic key that protects the money. This information is all scrambled by a mathematical formula inside the chip, known as an algorithm. Your money is therefore protected from fraudsters. At least that's the theory but researchers cracked that weak algorithm. Now, just by using a simple homemade reading device equipped with the algorithm, a hacker can get all the data stored on your Oyster card. And with this data, the card can be cloned. Peter's team said cracking the algorithm was even easier than they expected. This one turned out to be extremely weak. So yes, we were surprised that it was so very easy to do. Even NXP, the Dutch company that makes the chip, admitted to this program that the MyFair Classic is weak. They offer far superior chips, but say it's up to companies to decide the level of security that they want to pay for. Transport for London have told us the system is well defended. It says cloned cards will be identified by backroom computers. Besides, it argues, tube travel is too cheap for criminals to bother with. But experts say the hacking serves as a warning. The London Underground is huge. I mean, the number of people who use it is enormous. And you sort of think of the value of the tickets, you sort of think, well, you know, th this is the thing, if people can actually make these tickets and effectively they get free or nearly free travel, that's worth a lot of money. And this is the point. Organised crime will see that as a source of revenue. In Holland, the home of the MyFair chip, the threat to their transport smart card has been taken so seriously that the government wanted the chip reviewed. So they came to the world-renowned Information Security Group here at the Royal Holloway University in Surrey. The group's findings have never been made public in the UK until now. The report, seen by Channel 4 News, says fast key-cracking equipment is relatively affordable and easy to obtain. But its key conclusion? 
The MyFair chip used in the Dutch system will need to be replaced. The key to this is that the Dutch system that the experts say must be scrapped works in exactly the same way as the Oyster card. Keith Mays is the man who wrote that report. He's also an advisor to Transport for London. We advised the Dutch ministry that they would need to change um, their MyFair smart cards, that they would need to migrate to a better solution. Um, because the Oyster card in London uses a similar card technology, um, then we would give the same advice to them. So ultimately they have to consider a migration of their card technology solution. The man that's responsible for Oyster is Shashi Verma. Despite the Dutch government being advised to switch, he claims Transport for London will cope by improving its fraud detection methods. This is a constant uh, challenge that any, any IT system faces, that you, know, you need to evolve with time, and we will. But we don't see a need to start panicking about what's happened so far. There's no challenge or no risk to the security of, or the integrity of the Oyster system today, and that's where we are right now. Just three days after our interview, Shashi Verma sacked the company that runs the Oyster card. TfL say that this is to save money and that it has nothing to do with security. There's a national plan for smart cards that can be issued in one city and used in another. But with the spectre of cloning, choosing the right technology is now at the top of each city's agenda. Well, I think we're all in the same boat. We'll all look to the lessons learned in London to see what cards we use going forward. But I think the issue for us is, what are the secure cards? Um, and as long as the card is secure, then that's what we will continue to use. For cities around the country still planning smart card ticketing schemes, the choice seems clear. Follow London's lead and keep the hack technology, or listen to the warnings and go for a more secure chip. And that's it. More 4 News starts at 8. We're back tomorrow at noon, again at 7 o'clock. Until then, from Sue and...